being the boss can be tough. You've got to enforce the rules, you've got to make sure everything gets done, and you've got to do all of this without your employees hating you or being the bad guy. The best managers have discovered how to do this with ease, and a few, I won't name names, should probably sit down and watch a few of these lessons from the hit show Superstore to discover how to become an awesome boss. Worst story I've ever heard. Look, all I'm saying is with a little effort, it's not that hard to get people to like you. I really don't care if people like me. Okay, but don't you find it hard being a boss to people that resent you? Who's the one wearing the blue coat on <laughs> You do raise a good point. Yeah. I watch a lot of Dog Whisperer DVDs, and it's always easier to train a bitch who enjoys your scent. That's exactly what I meant. Um, look, if you need any help, I... Pass. I can make people like me on my own just fine. Oh, hey. Yeah. I just wanted to say, mm -hmm. that story really is awful. I tighten it up, add a couple jokes. Thank you for the feedback. Hi, I'm Sam, co-founder of Life's Secret Sauce, where we teach motivated professionals how to fast track their careers and live the life of their dreams by using the social skills they should have learned in school, like reading body language, rather than learning that more people die from donkeys every year than from airplane crashes. Crazy. Anyway, back to bosses. In the show Superstore, the assistant manager, Dina, is a stickler for the rules and she's constantly pushing away her coworkers. And to be honest, they're not very subtle about her, their dislike for her. I've got a whole PDF. <laughs> hey, let's break up this loser squad and get back to work. You guys don't hear anything, do you? Nope, I can't hear traitors. Oh, is that so, Peter? Because I was just coming to tell you that your wife has died. I just got the call. I don't have a wife. Everyone knows I'm gay. Ha! I knew you could hear me in your gay face. Come on, guys. Now, some people have no concern as to what others think of them, and that's okay. I'm not saying that everyone needs to like you all the time. But having a large percentage of your employees not enjoy your presence leads to an unproductive work environment. When you're in a position of power, like the assistant manager, you have to keep up the rules. So sometimes you have to go out of your way to show that you care. Who broke into my locker? What is happening to this country? Mine looks burnt off. It wasn't even locked. Everybody shut up. I got you all presents. Oh, okay. Guys, how nice of Dina to break into our lockers and give us presents. Yeah, prescription strength deodorant. Stop stink in its tracks. Now that's a gift for all of us, my friend. Thoughtful, in its own way. Men's razors? For your mustache. You're welcome. Gay guy. Now I had to order 30 of those, so if you have any gay guy friends, just say the word. Um, okay, no big deal, but usually people say thank you when they get presents. It's not all interesting how to tell a better story. Now, I don't know if you already have this. I'm assuming you don't. Dina tries to do something nice by giving gifts to all of her staff. But again, her inability to understand basic human interactions with her colleagues leads to terrible gift ideas and a great scene for a TV show. However, the sentiment is there. Get to know the people that you're working with. If you're the boss and you have to enforce the rules during the day, wouldn't it be nice to get to know what makes your coworkers happy outside of work? In the end, Dina uses her no-nonsense attitude to stand up for one of her coworkers against the head office. This is where that strong boss comes in handy. Hey, Jeff. Have you told corporate about the thumb yet? I'm uh, just about to submit an incident report now. Don't worry about it. I know you had nothing to do with it. Cool, cool. Yeah, I was just making sure. But out of curiosity, what's going to happen to Amy? Suspension, termination, we'll have to see. Well, I'll walk with you to the office. I actually have something I'd like to submit as well. I mean, obviously, corporate needs to know that a district manager was on site when an untrained employee maimed himself. Uh, I'm sorry? God, I really hope this doesn't hurt your shot at that senior VP slot when Todd Sperman retires in June. And if I didn't turn the report in? Well, if you didn't turn the report in, then officially nothing happened. So I guess that means I would have nothing to report. Fine. I really don't like you. I really don't care. 
Overall, what did we learn from a tough boss on Superstore? Well, sometimes it sucks to be that one that always has to enforce the rules, and some people just won't like you. But that being said, not everything has to be about the rules and work. Kill them with kindness. Find out what your coworkers like outside of work and engage. And of course, don't be afraid to use your no-nonsense attitude to stand up for those around you who perhaps don't have a character quite as strong as you are. <clears throat> Dear everyone, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry that you were mad at me. I only acted the way I did because I'm a very loyal person and I can't empathize with people who are self-centered traitors. If I could go back in time, I would do the exact same thing. I consider this matter closed now. Huh? So there you have it. Life lessons from Superstore. Now, before you move on, take a quick moment to click like if you liked what you saw and don't be afraid to pass it along to a friend or perhaps a boss that maybe you're not quite getting along with right now. I'm sure they'll like this. Then take a quick moment to pop on over to our website. It just takes a moment for you, but means the world to us. It's lifesecretsauce.com. Go ahead and sign up with your email so that we can send the awesome directly to your inbox. Until next time, ciao for now.